there was an innovation happening at Imperial College where they'd made a scaffold that you could grow uh, bone cells on. So the idea is if you had an injury or you've had a cancer, the patient can have a chunk of uh, bone made for them to repair the injury. So designers, we were really interested in this technology, thinking about what we could use with that material outside of the body. So Biojury is a project uh, which uh, takes cells from couples who want to have rings made for them, uh, and we then uh, uh, extract some cells, grow them in the lab, and then combine um, a, a, bone, a bone ring with uh, silver. Uh, and then they swap the rings and they're effectively wearing each other on their hands. We had uh, uh, an article in New Scientist and in another magazine called Bazaar. And so this is how everyone kind of found out about the project. And we had about 200 couples come forward. Uh, and eventually we worked with two couples to make uh, the rings for them at Guy's Hospital in London. So the way we did it, uh, we kind of um, worked with couples who needed to have their wisdom teeth taken out. It's quite a popular kind of operation that people need. And then uh, while they're having their teeth removed, you can take a little bit of jawbone at the same time. You start off with a very small sample from the chunk of bone, like thousands, and you kind of culture up uh, those cells and then those, uh, that kind of broth of cells goes on to a pre-shaped scaffold. So this is the, the scaffold material, this is hydroxyapatite um, and you can see it's a little bit like uh, the structure of bone. It's kind of got pores in it, holes in it and that encourages the cells to kind of grow in a way you'd expect them to. So after about five to six weeks in the lab we have a kind of bony structure which we can then take out the incubator and effectively we kill that sample, sterilise it so that it's safe and then it goes into uh, Nikki's studio where she can combine it uh, with the silver to make the rings.